Tonight, Sarah Beth Ackerman joins us live from Sunnycrest Park in Syracuse, where she spoke with a dermatologist about some of the dangers the sun may pose to us, and especially the, sun, the uh, SPFs that don't match up. Sarah Beth? Whether the sun is shining like today or it's partly cloudy, your skin is still exposed. Sun damage builds up over time, and if you don't cover up, you may pay the price later on. It's Michelle Grace's first beach day of the year at Green Lake State Park, and she brought all of her essentials. Towels, sunglasses, and sunblock. On hot days like today, Grace slathers on the SPF 70 for her and her 10-year-old son, James. She burns easily and swears by this Neutrogena Sport sunblock. I put it on myself, on my face every day during the, um, the warmer months. On my kids, uh, on the weekends, they put it on first thing in the morning. But experts say before you grab your favorite sunblock, you should listen to this. The Environmental Working Group 2015 Sunscreen Guide says after reviewing more than 1,700 SPF products, 80% don't do what they promise. In fact, Grace's favorite, Neutrogena, was found to be the most at fault for promising sun protection without delivering. If I'm buying an SPF 70, I'm, I'm expecting that, that I'm getting some significant protection from that as long as I'm reapplying. Dermatologist Joyce Farah believes most people don't apply the correct quantity of sunscreen. They all tend to underapply. So if you make it a habit that you reapply fairly frequently, eventually you're going to get a pretty good uh, sunscreen layer on. But the first step is to actually grab the sunscreen. The CDC found out only 30% of women were twice as likely to put on sunscreen, where men almost never use it. If you buy a bottle of sunscreen in the beginning of the summer season and it's still not finished by the end of the season, you have not used enough. A few other ways to protect yourself from the sun. The dermatologist also recommends wearing a hat, sunglasses, and also light layers with UV protection. For now, reporting live at Sunnycrest Park, I'm Sarah Beth Ackerman. All right, so make sure you lather up and do it uh, frequently. Yeah, I am violating several of those rules. Thank you, Sarah Beth, for the advice.